Hey guys, I'm back with a another video. I have filmed three videos today. Hopefully I can get all three of them out today. If not, I apologize. Obviously, you're not really gonna know until I post them, I guess, so. <laughs> today's video, I guess I would say today's third video, is going to be the 20 questions tagged. I was tagged by, hey, it's me, Chris, one of my bestest friends in the hot way world. Thank you for tagging me, Chicky. It's about time because normally I do these tag videos and I wasn't really tagged for it, but I still did it because it's freaking fun, so don't judge me. But I guess we'll go ahead and get on, get into this because if not, I'm going to keep talking about nothingness. So here we go. Question one. Things you cannot leave the house without. Um, a lot of people say their cell phones. I would have to say, yes, my cell phone. Um, just because I live in a new area now. I think I mentioned it before. I live in a new city now that's like on the East Coast. And I don't know where everything is still. And so I definitely cannot leave my house without my phone. Because if I end up getting lost, I don't know when the buses run. I don't know where the buses pick up or drop off and so yeah I, I definitely have to take my phone and if I need to call somebody like hey I'm lost help me out can't leave the house without my cell phone for sure question two favorite brand of makeup I'd have to say uh, I don't really wear that much makeup so I'm wearing lipstick and a little bit of eyeliner and sometimes I wear a little bit of eyeshadow that's really about it. So I don't really have a favorite makeup brand, but if I had to say anyone, it'd be L'Oreal. I love L'Oreal's eyeliner. Um, and I really, really like their uh, eyeshadows. So I have to say L'Oreal. I don't buy really expensive things, although I would love to purchase them, like from like Sephora or something like that, uh, Estee Lauder, all those, but I just, I can't afford it. I would have to say L'Oreal. Question three. Favorite flowers. Uh, my favorite flowers are orchids. I think they're the most elegant, beautiful flowers of all times. I mean, literally, they can, they can just be like a nice little springy touch to your house, or they could just be as romantic for like a wedding or a prom, day, you know, prom night or any. You know what I'm saying? It can be very casual, beautiful flower, but it can also be very elegant and fancy. I, mm, they're my favorite. I love orchids. Question four. Fave clothing store uh, I don't really go clothing shopping very often I like JC Penney's I like Kohl's hmm I like um, see that's about it oh I like Target too I, I like Target I have to say JC Penney's now that probably sounds like an old woman old woman kind of response but I do I like JC Penney's that's where my mom always shop because she has a credit card there and I just think they have all kinds of clothes, like work clothes, summer clothes, you know, fall clothes. I mean, I, I like it. It's a nice, it's a nice store. And it's not too expensive. You know, I don't feel like I'm broke after I leave the store. So, yeah. Question five. Favorite perfume? Hmm. Don't really wear perfume. I wear um, body spray. And if I had to pick one of them, I guess it would be, you know, I don't know. I like the body spray, the Japanese cherry blossom from Bath and Body Works. I love that. It smells amazing. I'd have to say that's probably one of my favorites. I don't know if I really have a favorite. And like I said, I don't really wear perfume. Um, it's really expensive most of the time, so I don't really bother buying it. So, yeah. I'm cheap, so whatever. I'm not broke, though. Question six. Heels or flats? Uh, definitely flats. I'm 5'3". And as somebody who's short, short people like to stay closer to the ground. You know, we don't like to go really high. And so like heels make me really high and then I get scared and then I get dizzy and then I want to fall over. And so, yeah, even if I was not vertically challenged, I still wouldn't wear them because for me, they're just really uncomfortable, really uncomfortable. So definitely flats. I could wear flats anywhere, any day of the week at any time. Question seven, do you make good grades? Well, I'm not in school right now, but when I was in school, yes, I made A's and B's and the occasional C, and I made D's before, but I raised them back up. But yeah, I occasion, and the occasional C or D, but mostly A's and B's, so I made good grades. Question eight, fave colors. My favorite colors are blue and green. Um, very naturistic 
you know, watery, cool colors. So yes, I have to say, blue and green are my favorite colors of all times, and they will always be my favorite colors. They're just beautiful. Question nine, do you drink energy drinks? No, I do not. I do not like energy drinks. The only time I ever drink energy drinks is if like one of my friends has one. They're like, oh, you want a sip? I'll take a sip. Um, my boyfriend likes to drink energy drinks a lot. Um, I'm not a fan. Question 10, do you drink juice? Yes, I do. I absolutely love juice. I could drink it at any time of day. It is delicious. I try not to drink it too much though because it's really high in sugars. But yes, I love juice. Love it, especially apple juice. Apple juice is my all time favorite. Question 11, do you like swimming? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm like part fish. No, I'm kidding, no. I really do enjoy swimming though. I'm not that good at swimming, but I can swim. Question 12, do you eat fries with a fork? Uh, depends. If they are chili cheese fries or cheese fries, yes. If they are just regular fries, no, I will pop them suckers in my mouth. Like, whoop, 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 you know? No, I don't use a fork unless there's chili or cheese on the fries. Question 13, what's your favorite moisturizer? I don't think I have a favorite moisturizer. I use all kinds of lotions, but not very often. My skin, my skin just has a natural silky feel to it, so I don't really need to use moisturizers. No, I'm kidding, but no, I don't really use any moisturizers. So I guess I can't really answer that question. I guess I like shea butter and cocoa butter. Is that a moisturizer? Does that count? than a brand or anything, but I guess I'd have to say those. Question 14, do you want to get married later on in life? Yeah, I do, I think I do. Um, the only thing I'm afraid of is divorce, but to be able to experience that one moment, you know, when you know, you're walking down the aisle to the person that you love. Um, so yeah, but I don't like the idea of having to take somebody else's last name, so I don't like that. And then kind of like the whole like you're giving the woman away to the man. I don't really like that concept either. I don't know. So I want to, but I don't know. It's a big iffy. Question 15. Do you get mad easily? Yes, I do. I have a temper. and I do get mad pretty easily. So that's not really a good thing. It's kind of a bad thing. But I can't help it. I'm just naturally just an angry person, I guess. Well, not only really angry, but I naturally easily angered person I'd say but says my sister but my mom's like the complete opposite so we've kind of gotten it from our so-called father that I don't know who knows question 16 are you into ghost hunting uh I would love to I would love 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 to go ghost hunting as long as it's not in my house I want to go to other places and see and as long as it's not like a demonic or an evil kind of haunting like if it's more like you hear knocks or you, know, you hear footsteps stuff like that like I would like to hear because like I've never experienced for myself and my family has so I think it'd be really interesting and really cool and just kind of validate it you know like you all you because I feel like I believe but like you never really fully fully believe until you experience something yourself so I think it'd be awesome but I never done it like I've never gone out ghost hunting and there's always that scary moment that you think I could end up bringing something home and you really don't want to do that so gotta watch out for that question 17 any phobias yes I'm afraid of heights afraid of dark water See, I'm afraid of clowns I'm afraid of, of small spaces oh, I have a lot of them ugh, ugh. I'm a fraidy cat I need to get a life question 18 do you bite your nails this will probably answer your question no I do not do not bite my nails I keep them very long question 19 have you ever had a near-death experience uh, I don't know if it was near death but there was one time when I was about 9 or 10 and my friends and my sister were going out with my friends babysitter to a, to a public pool that we always would go to during the summertime when we were little I'd always stay in the shallow area because at this point I'm short as it is like, you know I was I'm 5'3 you know at 25 so being eight or nine I would have been a lot shorter and so I would stay in like the three four foot water because I was not very tall well there's one time when I was just splashing around and just walking around the pool and I always had to stand on my tippy toes you know almost on my tippy toes 
because the water like went up to like here because I was so short and all these people got into the pool and were like moving around and I guess it swept up a little current there and it started to drag me towards the deep end and I remember like I couldn't like catch my bearings you know and I was like being dragged out and my tip I kept having to get higher and higher up on my tippy toes to the point where the water was literally like right here and I was on the my big toe like on the last toe I could reach and I happened to miraculously run into the babysitter and she turned around and caught me and she's like are you all right and I was like because <laughs> I was freaking out because I almost drowned and she like took me back to the edge again so I held on to the side after that so I guess that was kind of a near-death experience I don't think I ever told my mom or anything about that either I just remember it happening and, and like I guess it didn't really hit me that I could have drowned like I could have died but I guess that was probably my near-death experience like it scared the living daylights out of me and last but not least question 20 do you drink coffee no so I hope you guys enjoyed this 20 questions tag once again thank you hey it's me Chris for tagging me in it my very first ever actual tagged video and if you guys liked it hit the like button please leave a comment down below and how about you answer some of these 20 questions any one that you want just pick one and just put the answer down in the comments below and just don't forget to subscribe okay I need all the support I can get and I'm really trying to build this channel and I hope that I'm doing a good job I hope you guys like what you're seeing and I will see you guys next time